Yeah, so for me, at the highest level, the project is really trying to understand the interactions um, across the different sustainable development goals and how particular three of them, the, the hunger goal, the um, kind of terrestrial management goal and the in inequality goal are really hanging together and influencing each other. Um, but also in terms of policy choices, understanding some of these difficult choices that might have to be made in order to achieve the SDGs. And a lot of people might not be aware of that. You know, sometimes if, if you're trying to achieve one goal, you might be really impacting the ability on a country level to achieve another goal. And that, and, and fostering this dialogue across uh, different communities of policymakers, but also of researchers that are looking into these interactions and really teasing out some of the trade-offs across the tough choices that will have to be made and options for you know, going about them. I think that's the really new and exciting part of that project and that is one of the key issues that the project tries to address, particularly in the food security and you know, environment space and adding some new ideas of how some of these trade-offs could be resolved. What's quite exciting about this project is that it basically brings different types of people together that normally don't talk in a constructive manner. Um, so on the one side it brings different types of researchers together, really trying to do not multidisciplinary research but really integrated interdisciplinary research which has its own challenges but, um, but really trying to experiment of different ways of how we talk to each other and, and how we come up with ideas and, and research that is meaningful to policymakers. And that's the other thing is trying to bring policy and decision makers and researchers together um, through different parts of um, the project methodology being the forward work a forward look in terms of scenario methodology, be it some of the analysis that is happening around policy disconnects, be it some of the quantitative work, to really get a different dialogue going um, with across policymakers, but also across researchers and policymakers on thinking about deeply um, in a safe space around some of these important challenges that are coming up for you know, the African countries that we're working with and, and how they could deal with it and maybe coming up with really different ideas than what were discussed before, um, that's the hope. So I think that is really part of this, this it's, it's kind of new ways of doing business in terms of coming up with really novel ideas because what we're talking about are really a set of interdisciplinary problems, really, or that at least problems that require interdisciplinary answers. And so how can we organize ourselves, both as researchers and as decision makers, in new ways to really come up with novel ideas and ways of dealing with these issues? I think the project can have, has the potential to have um, impacts on a number of different levels. Um, on the one side, really in the policy making arena in the countries we're working in, but maybe also at the global level, to really point at some of these contentious issues across some of the SDGs or some of the goals that policymakers have for their countries, um, and, and really you know, diving into the details of how there is. There might be disconnects between ways forward for the food security, nutrition security part and for basically achieving this in a way that we don't wreck the planet along the way um, and that we sustain the ability of natural systems to provide ecosystem services to us. So, so I mean really kind of the, I think the project really has the, the option to really create new types of knowledge but also new type of debate around some of some of ways forward to achieving these really important goals that policymakers have and at the same time scientifically it really has the, the creates the way of yeah for us trying out experimenting with different ways of working together in a new fashion I mean I wouldn't necessarily say that it hasn't happened before but it's kind of really um, monitoring and doing also uh, the way of how we're doing business in a way that we can learn from it in the scientific realm and really understand what does it take to work interdisciplinary versus you know we all in our own silos or even multidisciplinary um, and, and what are the pros and cons and how can we improve on the process um, so that is I think an important impact that the project can have so to say in the research community um, in addition to the hopefully policy outcomes that we are interested in.
in better informed decisions made eventually on the ground on some of these important issues that impact a lot of people on the ground um, and will have a huge impact on where we go with our overall global environment in the future.